All right, Taurus, already started laying out the cards. So we got Smell, the Roses. We got Epiphany. We got Salty. And I clarified with the Will reversed, the High Priestess, and then the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So Taurus, there is somebody that may be coming in or have came in if this energy has already passed with an offer. Whether they could be giving you a gift or maybe some flowers or an offer of love. Either way, somebody decide to come in to make it up to you, Taurus. And um, I just feel like you felt as if you needed to, you know, slow things, things down with this person. You see what I'm saying? For an example, maybe they walked in, right? And they handed you a gift or some flowers. You probably you probably told them, no, I cannot accept this. You see what I'm saying? It don't have to be exactly what I just said. But you just told them that you cannot accept any type of offer that they may be offering you. Because you felt like you were going backwards. Because we got the wheel of fortune reversed. Well, the wheel reversed. Same thing. A lot of y'all felt like y'all going backwards with this person. You know, maybe this is somebody that has done this to you before plenty of times you know or they may have just done it one time before but whatever that they was offering you Taurus you felt like it was like repeating itself you know what I'm saying the connection the, the situation itself was repeating itself and um it made you take a step back and on this situation and think about what this person has done to you you see what I'm saying it's like you're not allowing this person to rush you to make a decision you see what I'm saying whether this is to to take an offer of love or whether this is to accept a gift or um an invitation somewhere or it could be anything that they're coming in with okay but basically somebody want to come in and kiss and make up with you Taurus but I'm just getting this energy where you don't forget how this person treated you. You see what I'm saying? That's the energy that I'm picking up on when I look at epiphany and salty, which also mean bitter, angry, petty. So it's, it's telling me that some of you guys could be coming off a little bit petty and, you know, just pushing away the invitation or the offer or the gift or the flowers, whatever the case may be. Because in your mind, you do not forget how this person made you feel. But yes, you guys feel like you need to slow some things down dealing with this person, unfortunately, because maybe somebody could be keeping something from the other person. We got the high priestess. Somebody could be keeping something from the other person. And um, I'm just getting this energy where they don't want to work on this situation. Now, Taurus, some of you guys, when this person come back, you could be keeping something from them. You know, and that could be the reason why you don't want to deal with this person anymore. Because maybe you got something going on behind the scenes. But let's let's keep it moving and see what else is going on. This kind of remind me already of the re the reading that I just did. Kind of, not really. But let's see. I don't know why, but I'm hearing this energy where they sitting here, you know, coming back to give you something to win you over, right? To get you to, 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 to come back to them. Meanwhile, some of y'all secretly have somebody else in the background that is putting in double the work that they have ever put in. You know what I'm saying? To get you. So I don't know why, but I just heard that from, from somebody. Not everybody. But this lip gloss is... It's super shiny. Okay, we got the Ace of Swords reversed. We got the Nine of Swords, somebody in the head. And then we got the Ten of Wands reversed. Yep, you don't want to talk to them. Because you feel like whatever they got to offer you, like I said, it's only to will you in. But you're not allowing this person to will you in. You're not. Because I'm hearing it's too familiar. Like, you already have been through this rodeo with this person before. You see what I'm saying? And once you see a red flag, you know, you see a red flag, it's hard for you to ignore. So, it's like you it's, you find it very difficult to take this person serious, first of, first of all. You know, but 
you not want nothing to, to do with them or not want to talk to them, it got this person in the head. It, it really does have this person in a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety, you know, because you made it really easy to let them go. You know, it's like you were, you, you giving off this energy as you're not pressed or bothered over the simple fact that this person is not in your life anymore. You see what I'm saying? That's the energy that I'm picking up on, Taurus, and they don't like that. You making it look too easy to walk away from them. And of course, y'all can reverse this energy. If this is not your um you, it can just be the other person. Flip flop the energy. But yes, you're making this person feel alone because you're rejecting them. So let's keep it moving. Because some of y'all person could be doing this to you. They could be rejecting you and making it easy to move on. Because I got a feeling something is up. Somebody rejecting not only because what they are giving to them is is too familiar and it felt like they you know they don't want the past to repeat itself with that person but at the same time it's like somebody's keeping something from the other person yep i knew it so taurus some of you guys definitely not only let this person go or reject them because like i said you don't want the situation to repeat itself with this person anymore you feel like they're not putting a, enough effort to get you back but not only that, but you also have plans to come together with somebody else. I knew it. I didn't see the energy, but I felt it. I feel like some of you guys have plans to go elsewhere with somebody new. Okay, what else? Okay, we got these cards. Is, ugh. We got the two of swords. Yeah, y'all got this person wondering, stuck in their head, you know, confused. You know, because like I said, y'all got plans elsewhere with somebody else and they don't know this because we got the two of swords. This person is clearly blinded by the situation. It's like they have no clue that you have somebody else. All they know is that you're making it easy to move on. You know what I'm saying? You're rejecting them. But we got the page of wands reversed right here. I'm trying to think what cards. Yeah, y'all planning to, to come together with somebody else that they don't know about. And that could be the only reason why you reject in some form of offer. That's exactly what it's telling me. Because you, like I said, y'all making it easy to, easy to move on. Because I just felt like you just don't want to deal with somebody that, you know, that has a lot of baggage. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, what they was giving you, what they was presenting themselves to you when they came back, it was too familiar to you, you know, and you just didn't want the past repeating itself. So, yeah, this, I feel like y'all just like making it so easy to focus on yourself with this person. Like, that's how they viewing you. You making it easy. We got cassette. So it says outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So, yes, some of you guys could be planning to come together with somebody that may be maybe a little old school. Um, Maybe it could be somebody a little different from you. Maybe they have an old school. I'm here in Cadillac. Maybe somebody have an old school ride. It don't have to be a Cadillac. But um, I just felt like the only reason why you cut this person off, you know, Taurus and plan to come together with somebody else is because you just don't forget. I strongly feel like some of y'all could be, I wouldn't say being petty. I just feel like you you looking out for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And um you just don't forget. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. It's like they some of those person come back and act like they don't even remember what they have done to you in order, you know what I'm saying? In order for they don't they act like they don't know what they have done to you, Leo. I mean not Leo, but Taurus. They act like that. You know what I'm saying? And that could be another reason why you're pushing them away. Okay. Because like I said, the lack of effort. But it is telling me that you just don't forget about what this person has done to you. That's exactly what I'm saying. Somebody came back acting like nothing happened between y'all they tried to make it up to you by like I said giving you a gift or some flowers or they tried to offer you something solid or invitation somewhere out like a date or something 
Um, some of y'all did go out on a date with this person, but you still did not forget how this person treated you. You see what I'm saying? It's like somebody is trying to make you forget, like the, what they think you forgot about what they have done to you. You see what I'm saying? Whether they did something or whether they said something really mean to you. But it's like you cannot forget that. But, um, yes, I am getting this energy where they come back and acting like they don't know what they have done to you. But you know exactly what they have done to you. I'm hearing that you are making this person sit and think about what they have done to you. That's exactly what y'all doing. Y'all are planning to go elsewhere with somebody else. Because you feel like you need this person to think about what they have done to you. Like It's like y'all teaching this person a lesson, basically. Some of y'all are trying to teach this person a lesson and get it through their thick skull what they have done to you. Because obviously it's like they oblivious to it. You know what I'm saying? It's like they don't they're not aware of what they have done to you. All they know is you're being angry at them and petty and, you know what I'm saying, mean to them. But it's only because this person has not hold accountability. They have not hold any type of accountability whatsoever towards whatsoever. But I am seeing that it's like you are make, purposely making this person think about what they have done to you. That's what you want them to do. Some of y'all don't even care what they do. But it's like you're giving this person a taste of your medicine, you know, of their medicine. You know what I'm saying? Or you're giving this person a chance to to, to, to make it up to you the right way. But most of y'all keep hearing y'all just don't care. It's like since they act like they don't know what they have done, well, you're just going to make them sit and think about what they have done. But for the time being, you're focusing on yourself and you're not taking this offer. Because it's telling me you have already healed. A lot of y'all have already healed and freed yourself from this person that's toxic. I strongly did. I do feel like that's why y'all becoming y'all coming off as unbothered tourists because you have already healed and freed yourself from this person. And then it's like they come back like nothing happened. You like, are you serious? Is that all you have to offer me? You know? And um, that's exactly what I'm seeing. Didn't I say y'all could be going on a date with somebody else? Y'all got somebody else. Meeting someone new. I knew it. Dating. Get back out there. Plan. Set a date. Yes, you guys have planned to hook up with somebody else. Like, literally. Meanwhile, you got your ex that ain't really making no effort or holding accountability trying to get back together with you. They kissing your tail. They kissing your tail. Okay, let's dive deeper. Because now I'm seeing where this is going. It's like you purposely trying to get this person to take a look, a hardcore look at themselves about, you know, what they have done to you. And it's like they don't know what they have done. They're still acting like they don't know. All they know is that you don't want nothing to do with them. That's all they know. Yeah, that's all they know. But I feel like they know they just don't want to accept the simple fact that they have done something wrong to you because they don't want to look at the, they don't want to look like the bad guy. But we got healing right here. We got apology. They ain't giving up. They ain't giving up. Y'all got a lot of patience. Yeah, you just focus on yourself and your own self-healing, your, your, like your own growth. You see what I'm saying, Taurus? But it's like they still trying to like um, get back together with you. Some of you guys, this person could be begging to come back. Yeah. Because you moved on. Not only you moved on, y'all have somebody else that's taking care of you. Some of y'all, this person definitely don't know. But it is telling me most of y'all, this is what's happening behind the scenes. You have somebody that's putting a lot more effort into y'all connection, you know, more than the person that she was dealing with previously. You know what I'm saying? It's like they, it's like they have ass trying to like make it up to you, and you ain't, 
you ain't going for it. You're not. You know, it's too familiar, you know, and you just know that you're not meant to be with this person. A lot of y'all know that y'all not meant to be with this person that's trying to, like, win you over and come back in your life. But, yes, it is telling me that some of you guys, you could have a child with this person, don't have to, or children. But maybe they're trying to apologize to you, apologize to the to the. Some of you guys, this person could be finally apologizing, basically, after acting like they don't know what they have done. You see what I'm saying? But, yeah, it's, it's not a sincere apology. It's not. It really not. It's only to get back on your good side. That's it. It's only to get back on your good side. But, like I said, a lot of you guys have somebody else behind the scenes. This person ain't got no other options. It's like... Y'all not forgiving this person. I just feel like you just don't forgive them. Even if you do forgive this person, you still don't want nothing to do with them. You still don't want them. That's the energy that I'm picking up on, Taurus. That's exactly what I'm picking up on. But I'm hearing some of y'all could be telling this person, you need to apologize to my kids. You know what I'm saying? Or our kids. I don't know. Maybe somebody could be saying that. Something happened. But some of y'all's person put their hands on you. Maybe they start throwing the fit, punching the wall. This person, like, these two people right here in the background look like somebody, like, punched the wall behind this man's head. Maybe they was, like, fighting you in front of the kids or something. And that could be the reason why I picked up on that energy when I said, you know, this person needs to apologize to the kids. Yeah, it's like, this person trying to get you to change your, you know, change your mind on how you view them. Okay, let's keep it moving. We got journey. It's telling me you're not changing the way you view this person because you have already been through a lot. I feel like y'all have been through a lot with this person. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, literally. And now you just want to be left alone away from this person and do your own thing. You know what I'm saying? So, that's the energy that I'm picking up on so far. Yeah, you out here having your fun. It's like now that you finally freed yourself from this person, I feel like you're finally out here having fun, doing your own thing, you know, talking to new people, mixing and mingling with new people, and just focusing on yourself. At this point, you having a new beginning, and you're out here having your fun, or you're going to be having your fun. Like, literally, some of y'all are out here meeting new people. Maybe you could be going out on a date, like I said, with this new person, you know, and maybe y'all could be just getting to know each other, but I'm telling you, it's like an ex of yours, they begging their way back in, but you're not changing your mind about what this person has done to you, you're not, whatever, they, if some of y'all is telling me what they have done to you, like I said, maybe they put their hands on you and put their hands on front, in front, you know, in front of the kids, the rest of you guys, it could be something else that I don't even know about. But this is somebody that expects you to change your mind. It's like they wait for you to change your mind. But it's over, period. Like I said, y'all been through this before, like literally. A back and forth situation with this person. Y'all been through it. It's over. It's it's over. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I got to go right now, of course. So this is what I got for you guys, and y'all take care.